So I, uh, I have no idea what this 5G thing is all about. I can't, I don't have the energy to wade into that conspiracy theory, to be honest. One of these days I will for kicks. Uh, but there's this other conspiracy theory that was thrown around. I remember hearing it a while back, and it's this idea that this virus was created in a bioweapons laboratory in Wuhan, and China released it and spread it purposefully around the world. I remember I, heard, I first heard that months ago, and I thought, nah, I don't know. I'm not much of a conspiracy theory guy, like, right? So I like, I don't know. That's, so I kind of put it aside. Seems that we now have a little more nuance to that story. Uh, this is a Washington Post article. It came out the other day. State Department cables warned safety issues at Wuhan lab studying bat coronaviruses. Excuse me? Two years ago, quote, U.S. embassy officials visited a Chinese research facility in the city of Wuhan several times and sent two official warnings back to Washington about inadequate safety at the lab, which was conducting risky studies on, gee, I don't know, coronaviruses from bats. <laughs> All right? Are you serious? It'd be one thing if they were studying, I don't know, like the sniffles on dogs or what, but coronaviruses on bats, it's called the Wuhan Institute of Virology. And in 2015, congratulations to them, they were the first lab in China to achieve the highest level of international bio-research safety, level BSL-4. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know who gives that, that level. Maybe the bats. Or maybe the World Health Organization. I don't know. I really don't know who, get, who grants that level. It could be the World Health Organization. I wouldn't be surprised. I'll do some research on that. So a U.S. Uh, delegation went to visit and they said, what the heck is going on here? <laughs> because the, the visit didn't go well. Uh, what the U.S. officials learned during their visits concerned them so much that they dispatched two diplomatic cables. The cables warned about safety and management weaknesses at the lab and proposed more attention and help. The first cable also warned that the labs work on bat coronaviruses and their potential human transmission represented a risk of a new SARS-like pandemic. Well, gosh golly, <laughs> wouldn't you know? So really, when this thing broke out months ago, whenever it was, there were the people in this delegation, whoever they were, who were like, yeah, I know. I saw this coming years ago, people. This is January 19, 2018. Uh, during interactions with scientists at the laboratory, they noted a new lab has a serious shortage of appropriately trained technicians and investigators needed to safely operate this high containment laboratory. Um, okay, just before the U.S.'s visit, the, their team had published research showing that horseshoe bats they'd collected from a cave in Yunnan province were very likely from the same bat population that spawned the SARS coronavirus in 2003. More importantly, the cable states the research also showed that various SARS-like coronaviruses can interact with ACE2, the human receptor identified in SARS coronavirus. The findings strongly suggest that SARS-like coronaviruses from bats can be transmitted to humans to cause SARS-like diseases. So here's the nuance. When I first heard this a while back, it was this idea that uh, uh, the Chinese government designed a bioweapon and released it purposely, purposely into the world. And like, that's a lot, right? But maybe the virus did start in a lab and somehow escaped the lab. Uh, one of the U.S. officials in the article says this cable was a warning shot. They were begging people to pay attention to what was going on. Now, I want to make it more sketchy. My last quote here. Uh, research by Chinese experts published in The Lancet in January, it's a medical journal, showed the first known patient, identified on December 1st, had no connection to the market. Nor did more than one-third of the cases in the first large cluster. Also, the market didn't sell bats. Now, we're told that this came from bats at a wet market, but the guy didn't go to a wet market and there were no bats there. Now, this information comes from China. I can't believe anything, anything that comes out of China. Maybe this farmer's market from hell not only 
sold bats, they had like an entire section of bats. Like, like, like maybe it was buy two, get one free bat day at the Wuhan wet market. Like, I'm no, you can't trust the communists, you have no idea. But they've reopened their wet markets. And as Scott Adams says, maybe it's because they know that this thing didn't even come from a wet market. Slater Crusaders, thanks for watching the first on YouTube. If you want more, like, subscribe, we got plenty.